welcome to my class today we stand on the verge of biggest technological revolution which mankind has ever witnessed in the recent past this technological revolution is in the form of information technology information technology has changed the way we interact with each other it has changed the way we communicate with each other it has changed the way we get education it has changed the way we conduct our business it is changing the way we entertain ourselves and it is changing the way we think one of the powerful tool of information technology is in the form of internet today in this particular class we will talk about what this internet is or what is the meaning of internet internet meaning the term internet has been coined by combining two words namely interconnectivity and networks we took inter from interconnectivity and net from networks and it makes up one more word that is internet so the term internet it has been coined by combining two words that is interconnectivity and network since it's a combination of two words internet can be defined as a network of networks it is a computer network made up of large number of smaller networks using different networking protocols protocols means set of rules while computers communicate with each other they follow a set of rules those rules are termed as protocols so when the computers are in a network they follow certain rules those rules are termed as networking protocols it is global collection of big and small computers that are connected to each other through telephone lines microwave towers and satellites etc so internet is a collection of big and small computers and they are connected to each other through telephone lines microwave towers and satellites etc some computers that is servers on the internet they store documents audio files video clips program files animations still pictures interactive contents websites and other information that can be stored and presented electronically it means any information that can be stored and presented electronically you can find them on some of the computers and these computers are connected to internet all these resources are available to all computers connected to the internet throughout the globe it means if any computer is having audio file video file graphic file animation file then we can have access to all those resources which are available on the internet by attaching our computer by connecting our computer to internet we can access these resources it provides communication and data transfer among computers connected through it across the world this connectivity is provided by isp an isp is an internet service provider it is an organization that provides the internet connection to its subscribers through 
telephone lines, microwave towers, and satellites, etc. by charging a fee for its services. It means ISP is an organization which provides connectivity to the internet, and those who avail this particular service, they pay for it. They pay for it to the service provider. The cheapest way to surf the internet is to get a connection from local internet service provider. ISP is an organization through which individuals and other companies can have access to the internet and other related services such as website building and virtual hosting. They have the necessary equipments and the telecommunication line access required to have connection on the internet for the geographical area to be served. It means ISP have got all necessary equipments which are required to have connection on the internet. The big ISP have their own high speed lease lines and therefore they can provide better service to their customers. They are also sometimes referred to as an IAP, Internet Access Provider. Connectivity provided by ISP. In our country, we have MTNL, Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited, VSNL, BSNL, Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, Vodafone, Airtel, and so on. Thank you very much.